Hello, so today I'm going to be highlighting some features of the roster tool. So once you log into Hopkins Groups and you click on the organization you would like to manage, just go ahead and hit the drop down menu and you can see all the different features that Hopkins Groups has to provide. Today, we're going to be focusing on roster. So roster is useful for anything related to membership, really. Um, you can use it to invite members to be part of your organization. You can also see a list of um, individuals who would like to be members of your organization. Um, you can also use it to delegate which um, positions go to which members. So it's quite useful and I urge um, all organizations to use it. So when you click on the roster tool, it brings you to this page. As you can see, there's the invite individuals, which again is used to invite people you, that you would like to be part of your organization. There's the manage positions, so you can use this function to create new positions and dictate what sort of access that they have. Um, you can also use this position to edit, this function to edit the positions. Um, you can also use this function to end any positions. Um, so for messaging, I don't really foresee a lot of people using messaging um, just because everyone uses GroupMe or just text each other or email. Um, but this allows you to message any individuals um, that you would like to message about your um, organization or that are in your organization. So when you scroll down, we can see that there is current, pending, and perspective. Um, current gives you a list of all the individuals that are members of your organization, and you can edit those individuals' positions or even end their membership to your organization. Um, pending just has a list of individuals that you have actively requested to join your organization. Um, you can decide to resend invitations or delete invitations. While Perspective has a list of individuals who would like to join your organization, and you can decide to send them a message. Uh, you can decide to approve their request or deny their request. When you approve their request, um, they should pop up on your current list. And then on the current list, you can edit their position. So that's it. As you can see, the roster tool has many useful features. And again, I recommend any organization to use it in organizing um, anything that is related to membership. Um, if you have any questions, please come to Matten 131, which is the Student Leadership and Involvement Office, and speak to one of the student interns or with Mr. Chambry. Thank you and have a great day.